Hello, my name's Rick Higgins. I'm a fellow Volkswagen enthusiast, and I've been enjoying working on Volkswagen since 1962 when I got out of high school. I went to work in the Volkswagen dealership my father had worked in since 1955. You can learn to have fun working on your Volkswagen. You can have the satisfaction in knowing you're maintaining your own automobile, and you can save money from now on. And we're going to show you how. We're going to start with changing the oil. That's one of the most important things you can do to keep your bug going down the road because the Volkswagen only holds a little less than three quarts of oil. And that's less than any car out there. And all it has for a filter is this little screen. You're going to want to change your oil about every 3,000 miles. If you do a lot of short trip driving and don't put a lot of miles on your car, you'll want to change your oil about every three months. If you have a Baja bug, sand rail or something like that, and you're driving off-road in the dirt, then you want to change your oil even more often. You're going to need three quarts of oil, like we talked about earlier, but you're only going to use two and three fourths quarts because that's what your Volkswagen holds. You're going to need a couple of Volkswagen strainer gaskets. You can pick those up at the parts store. In fact, I'd recommend you go ahead and get about a dozen of them while you're at it because they're cheap. And then I recommend you get a quarter inch drive ratchet. You'll need a 10 millimeter socket to go along with that. The reason I recommend quarter inch drive is that it's smaller than the 3 8 and there's less likelihood of you breaking off the studs that hold the strainer on or stripping the nuts. I recommend you buy one of these little hydraulic floor jacks. This particular model was only about $20 at a local discount store. It's real handy. The handle comes off of it. You can store it in your trunk. The other thing you'll need is a little piece of 2 before to put on top of the jack. When we go to jack the Volkswagen up. I'll show you that in a minute. Something else you'll need is a couple of jack stands. These particular jack stands were less than $20, so you can see you don't have a lot of money tied up in this whole outfit, and you'll use it from now on. Now let me show you where we're going to put this under the car. You feel like you've poured about half of it in, and then I will pull it out, check it, then be careful about the last part you've poured in. you got about three-fourths of a quart in there. Now we're going to move on to the tune-up. The tune-up is basically checking or replacing the spark plugs, replacing the points and condenser, setting the timing, adjusting the valves, adjusting the carburetor. And here's the tools you're going to need for that. Now you want to get yourself a 3 8 inch drive ratchet, one with a long handle and a flex head like this is real handy for taking the plugs out. You'll want a 2 inch extension, 13 16 spark plug socket, spark plug gap gauge, all of our plugs were nice and clean, so we know that our valves and our rings are in good shape. What we don't want to see is a plug like this. If we find a plug like this, all black, gummed up like this, a good sign we've got a bad ring or burnt valve, so we're definitely going to have to do a compression check. Okay, now I'll show you how to use a compression gauge. Like okay, let's move on to the distributor. Okay, this is our distributor. This is where we find the points and the condenser. To get inside the distributor, you take your screwdriver, flip these little clips off the sides and you can lift off the cap. And while you got the cap in your hand, take a look inside, see any evidence of any cracks. You want to check this little car. And then we want to loosen the hold down screw that holds the points in there. Okay, and we lift the points out, being careful you don't... Okay, you might have a pulley like this on your car. It has two notches real close to each other. This is just about like the pulley that we used in the demonstration a minute ago. It just doesn't have the top dead center notch over here. If you use this pulley to time your car, this first notch is 10 degrees, the second one is 7 and a half. This is the one you when want. When you rock your motor over like this, you want to make sure your bottom pulley is moving and you're not just slipping your top pulley. Okay, now we can see the rockers are moving right here. That means the engine's really on number three. Logged up. So to get set it aside for now. Okay, now taking both of these jets out of here, you want to keep track of them so you put them back in the same hole they came out of. Now what you'll be looking for is any kind of dirt that clogs up that hole right in the middle of that jet. You want to get yourself a spray can of carburetor cleaner, a little nozzle on it. You spray that right into the middle of that hole. Okay, now here's what we'd see. We took our brake drum off. These little star wheels right down here are the adjusters. And what we're roll doing your drum around until you see that little adjuster inside the hole. Put your screwdriver in. Okay, now we just do this. All four wheels, exactly the same. Well, that's all we've got time for now. I know we've covered a lot of things in this last hour. 
but go back and look at each part until you've got it. Then go out there and put it in use, and you'll find it'll become easy, and then it'll be fun. Well, we'll see you again in Volume 2, where you'll learn a lot more.